Hey guys, Russ from Willie's Firewood here. As you can see up over my head, Kevin and I found some shade. My wife left her canopy for her business sitting out in front of the garage and it was a little wet, so I figured we'd dry it out for her. Let me show you Kevin chilling in the shade here. See, look at that, two thumbs up even. Nice and shady, no sun in here, but out there, out there it's warm we're working on cords number four and five for the day we're still working on the pile of wood that was behind us here we'll see what we got left i think there's probably three cord left here but we'll see down back there gramps got another row cut some more rounds on the ground that i gotta stack so we'll give you a status update in just a minute how you doing gorgeous <laughs> Gorgeous. Hey, Russ here. We got the cylinder for the all wood here. I'll flip you around, show you. We're going to throw this back together and see what we can do. Oh, there we go. So, it's going to have to be turned. Oh, we come unplugged. Uh oh. Man, we need some red green back for uh, home improvement here. So, we got it back today. Went up to the hydraulic shop last week. It's been resealed. They went through it. They said they didn't see anything obviously wrong. They think the detents are set wrong. So we're going to check the detents once we get this in, put a pressure gauge in, put it together and get it back to work. So let's uh, get it back together and then we'll check in. So we're back to under four and a half second cycle time. We'll get some wood in it. We'll see what happens, but for 936 bucks, hopefully we're uh, back in business again. Russ loves it. Yeah, good times. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, Kevin's bringing some wood back to the all wood. We've got it hooked up with the oil cooler bypassed right now. New cooler's supposed to be here in a couple of days, but got about a cord and a quarter on the trailer in a short period of time started with Gramps splitter but we've got an issue with his now I guess when it rains it pours I'll show you what we got going on over there and then we'll do some splitting with the all wood say hi Kevin What's say hi Kevin hello are we having fun yet oh yeah Bless. is it nice and cool yep. yeah he's lying he's full of crap it's not cool it's hot out but let's go over here, take a look at Gramps' splitter. On this one, he has a bolted flange seal and his seal is leaking. You can see frames wet. So I'm gonna pull that cylinder off because when you borrow something, whether it's yours or not, if you borrow it and you break it, you fix it. So we're gonna get that resealed and it should be good for another 48 years, hopefully. But let's go over and see what Kevin's got going on. Gramps been busy. I got some rounds to stack after I get done this two cord. He's got about three rows there. So he's been picking away at that, but it's been warm, so. So I also got Gramps rounds stacked up for him. I got that third row pretty well finished. I'm sure he'll be back in the morning, get cutting on that. He's probably halfway through this pile now. Not too bad.
guys. Two cord, ready to go. We'll level that off. We won't leave it sticking up like that. But let's go get this delivered. Much quicker that way, Kevin? Yep. Yeah, a little bit faster, huh? Yep, a little bit faster. All right, well, let's get this delivered so that we can get Gramps splitter tore apart. Well, I don't know if you can tell by my red face and sweaty forehead, but it's still warm out. We got that two cord delivered. Uh, we're back in the yard. I got Gramps splitter moved over in front of the garage so I can tear it apart um, and get that cylinder off. I'm gonna spin you around, show you how our wood pile that was out front is going. So starting Saturday from this little pile of wood here all the way out was firewood, as you guys recall. I originally thought there was like six to eight cord there. It's actually 11 full cord that we've done since Saturday um, out of this corner right here. The only thing I've got left up front is probably a cord to a cord and a half of softwood for camp wood. And that's this stuff here. I'll get that cleaned up probably this weekend, get it in the racks, uh, get that out. Uh, we're gonna get this whole area cleaned up so that we can drop another full load of tree length but I'm gonna hook everything here, my nice cooling fans. Anything will help. Um, it got warm, but we kept an eye on it. So we're gonna get the new cooler hopefully tomorrow, get that bolted on, and then we should be good to go. Uh, much quicker, much nicer having that four, four and a half second cycle time back, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get all this stuff moved down because we've got six more cord that's gonna go in the next day or two. Um, so we're gonna move everything down here. Kevin's gonna be gone. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange things a little differently. And I think I'm going to point the splitter and conveyor the opposite way down here and I'll show you guys when I get it rearranged tomorrow um, so that I can run the handle on this outside. This first row is pretty good sized stuff. Um, and I've got a customer that likes big split furnace wood. They're gonna take another cord. So I'll take out of this front row and try to get most of that cleaned up because then I got two cords of round wood um, that's gonna go. So those will be quick and then we've got four cord to cut and split. So I actually have seven, not six, seven cord um, that's gonna come out of this pile here. Um, so yeah, that's what we got right there. So I'm sitting in the shade where it's a little nicer. So it's been busy, um, 11 full cord out since Saturday, seven more cord left to go, hopefully by the end of this weekend. Um, that'll make 18 cord in about a week. That's that's as much as we've done in a, a while. Uh, we got some cleanup and some things to do. Uh, the racks will be busy. It's 4th of July. Um, it's been an expensive week between the all wood and Gramps splitter. We're going to have some money in seals and cylinders. Um, but that's part of, the, part of the deal, guys. If you're going to have this stuff and you're going to use it, it's going to wear out. It's going to break and you're gonna have to fix it sometimes it's more than you expect sometimes it's less than you expect with me it's always more uh, and i'm okay with that but it's good to have the all wood back it's good to have friends to help you get it together dave from dave's landscape he's been in a couple of the videos he gave me a hand getting it apart and together both appreciate that very much so if you like this stuff guys give a thumbs up like comment subscribe we're over a thousand subscribers now I'm shooting for 10,000. I'd like to have 10,000 by the end of the year. Don't know what I gotta do to get there. Don't know what you guys wanna see, but we're gonna push. We're gonna keep doing what we've been doing. And I'm looking for a 25 cord week at some point. I don't know when we're gonna get there, but I think I can do it and I'm looking for it. So 25 cord, I got your number and I'm looking for you.